Another episode of Adventure Dulu. We are going to be magnifying this location here. All behind me. Nice little inlet area of a river. Yeah. Kind of goes out to Lake Michigan. Here, we're going to be hitting this spot and we'll let you know what we find. We're checking out this location here. Never been here before. My wife's been out riding the trail here. We decided to stop here, take a look at this spot. As I'm walking down here, I see there's a chair down here. It's really nice little spot. We got a boat launch right over there. We got a bridge there. We got the old railroad bridge right here for the trail system, rails to trails. We'll walk down here and see if this is someone's chair or if someone fished it out of the water and left it. So let's take a walk down here. That looks like that came out of the water to me. Right there. Someone took that out of the water and left it here. If you find stuff and you pull it out of the water, take it with you. This leaves a bad name for everybody else at Magnifishes. As I look over here, I see a railroad plate right there that got pulled out of the water and just left. As I said, make sure you take anything you take out of the water, you take with you. We're going to start checking the magnet, see what we find. Our first hard hit here, minus the occasional, uh, sorry about the wind here, the occasional uh, hook I've been finding. It's a really heavy one right here. I heard it go thunk hard. Right down here. Let's see if we can get it up. I'm not stuck, little one. So stop saying I'm going to get stuck. Here, come over here and hold this rope. Since you want to run your mouth. Here, pull. Pull hard. Make sure it's probably heavier than me. It probably is. Feels heavier than you. As soon as you drop this, I'm going to go plop in the water. <laughs> Lottie's going to go flying. Looks like a piece of a railroad track. No, or part of the bridge. Okay, stop pulling on that rope. Just hold it. Yes. Just hold it. Oh. Oop, my magnet just got stuck on the bottom. Woo. No, I... That's a big old hunk of steel. She's heavy. Now I gotta try to get my magnet and that up and out of the water. Wish me luck. Get off of it. Got it unstuck off the guardrail. There it is. Here's my shoe next to it to show you the size. It's a little over three foot long. That thing's solid. It is extremely heavy. It almost looks like a small piece of track or something, but I'm guessing it's off that. Big old I beam or support or something at some point in time. I don't know if my GoPro wasn't going, but on that pull there, we got ourselves a double A Radio Shack battery. Don't look like it's been down there too long. She's nice and shiny looking. It still says the Radio Shack on it, real good. Got a hunk of piece of metal right there. Got a fishing hook there, a little piece of metal there. Got another fishing hook in there. It's pretty much all I've been finding is fishing hooks. Can't tell in the bucket there. We got a lot of hooks. Be fine coming up right here. It was just by that one there I found earlier. And we got ourselves a big old root railroad plate. It looked like I had a big old fishing line on it. It went flying off of it. But there's a railroad plate right there. Another heavy catch coming in here. Felt this one go thunk. Let's see if it comes up and out of the water. Feels like a bunch of fishing line on it. That push there, we got ourselves. Big old steel pole right there. Any friendlies in it? No friendlies in it. We got ourselves a big old steel pole. Got the steel pole on here. Then I noticed we had a welding rod on there too on the other side. But then as I look here, we got ourselves fishing lure. Been down there for a little bit. Spinners are good, hooks a little rusty. Got another heavy throw coming in, or another heavy pull coming in, I should say, not throw. Another heavy pull. Feels like a railroad plate, the way it's spinning in the water, and that's what it is. It's another railroad plate. Let's wash the mud off of it. Let's get her up here. That's railroad plate number two. Another pull coming in here. This one doesn't feel as heavy as all the other ones have. 
but man look at that load look at that i have looks like a knife on there looks like a multi-tool parts fishing lures an adjustable wrench i think we got the load on that one let's see what we got here we got that big old adjustable wrench there it's a 12 inch adjustable wrench by the look of it could be a 10 but i think it's a 12. we'll throw that right there's my bucket's a little farther away from me let's see what else we got we have a nice colored uh spinner there we have ourselves a saw blade or a fish scaler one of the two right there multi-tool we have part of a swish army knife right there which is probably where that tool just came from another part of the swish army knife right there with all the little attachments coming off of it it's been down there for a long time another lure we have a nail and a nut pretty sweet heavy pull coming in here this stuff i feel heavier than a uh, railroad plate <sighs> <sighs> Thought this place was gonna be a dud after uh about two thousand throws getting nothing moved down a little bit and it's just been non-stop and this is why it's so heavy it's just not one railroad plate it is two rail plates on that magnet go tighten that is a kratos titan 3800 pound magnet we just pulled out two full-size railroad plates on that puppy with absolutely no problem on the magnet end problems on my end they're heavy let's see if we can get them off and see what else is stuck to that magnet i see something on there Woo. and we got a nail we got a zebra muscle right there oh, that's a welding rod that's what it is welding rod Another pull coming in here. We're about ready to call it quits here. Yeah, look at there. I found someone's keys. Can't throw right the there. Water. No, you're not gonna throw them in the water. I just found them. There's a lock washer right there. Right here. No, it's an island for a fishing pole. Yeah, we just found a set of keys with a multi-tool on there. All the little flathead multi-tool. Yep, it's the old flathead screwdriver multi-tool. Right there, that's how I caught it. Look at that, the keys are brass. Keys are not magnetic, but there we go and what kind of car did it go to Let's see if we can figure it out it just says family of the cars ford at the ford key so i wonder if we can scour the parking lot like 40 years ago so we just grabbed one of my cheapy magnets that we found found this one actually a couple years ago recovered it couldn't find an owner for it but i'm gonna get that railroad plate that someone left right there with this as long as this thing has enough pull strength on it, we should be able to get it. Here we go. We should be on it hopefully good enough. Oh, nope, maybe not. Oh, maybe that magnet's not strong enough. Pop her loose. See if we can get a flat spot instead of an angle spot on it. Maybe we just had to get it wet. Yeah, this might be it. I had to get the magnet wet to make it stick. There we go. That's Got that steel plate. Really no more debris left here from whoever was here before. We got this all cleaned up. I got everything here. Loaded up in my wagon, all the heavy stuff. And we'll be recycling it all. We're done hitting the spot. All we found is a bunch of railroad uh, plates. Big old piece of railroad steel. Along with bunch of fishing lures fishing hooks but we were right over there so where we hit it we did not check this spot here because the boats were going in and out non-stop turning all around in here we found ourselves a caboose chesapeake in ohio yeah ohio <laughs> got some old railroad lanterns up there the clear and the red ones stoppers so we can't roll off the tracks because the tracks are cut oh no metal covers there we find all the time in the water we always try to figure out what they were they cover the train wheels axle grease housing so they can grease the hubs we have an old storefront building here it's kind of cool looking it's got the old style glass in there it's not smooth 
part of the historical society here. We'll walk up to the windows and see what we can find. Who box all there? There's an old telephone on the wall. An old typewriter, if you guys can see it. An old roll desk. Wait, don't we have a roll desk that looks exactly like that? Yeah, but ours ain't that old. There's a skeleton hanging up in there. I think someone's uh, been in that store too long and it's turned into a skeleton. Old wheelchair. Yeah, old no. medicine bottles and everything in there. Uh, yeah, old cash wheelchair. register. Look at the cash register. Oh, yeah, that's an old cash register if you guys can see it. We'll walk around here. Gotta take a better look. Get a better look in that way. I got a pretty good glare going on. There we go. A little better look that way. Take the GoPro off the mount. Pretty sweet. Back this way. This is when we come to the caboose, which is right there. Danger, stay off the roof. You hear that, Lonnie? Stay off the roof. Yeah, totally. Back of the store. Ain't very big. She is definitely nice and old. Come over here, we'll check out the caboose. Oh, these stairs. Yeah, they're pretty wobbly. Take a look inside, pretty clean, pretty basic. Got the old pot belly stove in there. Some old lights. A notebook. Yeah. Lanterns. Got in my car to check this overpass area here to go magnet fishing in the water. You know, walking by. I just found this little guy sitting on the ground. That is a brand new, nice fishing lure there. And the hooks aren't even rusty. Is it they used it once? There's some string there. Brand new fishing lure laying on the ground right here. Sweet. I'll take it. This spot's kind of a bust here. Water only looks like it's maybe a foot deep. And the sun's blaring in here. You can see the bottom all nice and clear. It's just kind of rocky and mucky. And there, it's the same all the way through here. I just walked to the end. So, this spot looks really clean in the water, minus the rocks. We just found ourselves a little gardener. Look at him, he's so cute. Got some fishing line here too. Where are you going? Go back in the water? Look at him. Park here. Came into here, found this little boat launch area. Right here. We got a little, little bridge right there and a little bridge over there. We're gonna throw a magnet in this area and check her out. Nice and clean. We've done over a dozen throws. Not a single thing. We're going down a boardwalk here. It's part of the trail system. Heading over to this little bridge over here. The other bridge we can see in that first spot is private railroad bridge, so we're not allowed to get on there without permission. But we're gonna head over to this one. We'll check into this one. See if we can find anything interesting. Stay tuned. Snapper turtle right there. It might be a painter, but she definitely looks like a snapper. Swimming yeah. down. There we go. Out here a couple dozen times. It's pretty shallow, really sandy, a lot of seaweed. We had no luck. Didn't find anything except for Lonnie found a hook on the boardwalk. Uh, it smells bad. <laughs> Wife's been out riding the trail system, the rails to trails, most of the day. This is where I'm picking her up at. And we get to see our second caboose of the day, right there. This one looks like it's a little uh, more maintained than the last one. Take a walk right over here.
no rickety deck to get on this one. Nice and steel. Take a look inside. Pretty sweet. Got an old railroad cross marker there. Wooden water tower, at least the top of wood, the rest of cement, and the old train depot.